Jesse, I'm a fiddle player and a fiddle teacher, and I wanted to make uh, this series of videos for my students and anyone else who might find it useful, uh, just about how to approach the bowing in fiddle music. So uh, I hope this might be useful to you if you're a fiddle player, or uh, if you're a fiddle teacher, feel free to steal some of these ideas, because I find it's a really effective way to teach bowing, um, and I don't see a lot of other people doing it. And, uh, and Or maybe this might be useful to you if you're a uh, a uh, classical violin player and you're interested in what you can do when you play fiddle tunes to really make it sound authentically like fiddle music. So one way or another, hope it's helpful. I've got to offer a couple disclaimers before I get started. First of all, every fiddle player does things a little differently. Uh, so um, these are just my ideas. Someone else might disagree with some of the things that I'm going to say or uh, I'm going to, there, there are certain things that I might tell you to avoid um, that somebody else might do on purpose. So just think of this as, uh, as a starting place, as one, one idea for how to approach uh, bowing. And, um, but really, there are no hard and fast rules, and it's really good to uh, draw inspiration from a lot of different fiddle players, all your favorite fiddle players. See if you can figure out what they're doing with their bow, and, uh, and don't be afraid to change the rules or change your mind about how to do it. Um, the other disclaimer that I want to say is I am a, I play Celtic fiddle and I play American old time fiddle and I find these bowing patterns really useful in both of those styles. But if you play bluegrass or Texas swing or klezmer or any of those other fiddling styles, who knows, you might find this useful anyway or you might not, I can't say for sure. So give it a try and if it's helpful then all the better. So the first thing I want to do is I want to just uh, give you a really basic template. It's useful to have something really simple and repetitive that you can do with your left hand that you don't have to think too hard about so you can give all your attention to what your, uh, your right hand is doing. So I'm going to suggest just starting on the open D string, let's just go... F sharp E, D, E, F sharp E, and you can just keep that going indefinitely and just get really used to doing that so that you don't have to think about it at all. Um, so uh, the first thing I want to talk about is just single bows. Um, what to do if you're in a, in a fiddle tune and you've got a lot of quick little notes that you want to just play every note, uh, just give it its own bow stroke with no slurs. Um, and that happens all the time. Uh, and when you do, it's not going to do this, like the, the way I was just playing. Just really steady like that. Instead, it's going to be really, it's going to be swung or wilted. Um, almost every, all, all fiddle music pretty much does that, at least in my opinion, it should. Um, so it should sound like this. And it, when you try doing that, the first thing, of course, you're going to notice is you can only keep it up for so long before you fall off the tip of the bow. What you don't want to do is try to compensate for the fact that the up bows are shorter notes by trying to push them really hard so you stay into the center of your bow like this. Because that just gives the music a really jittery feel that you don't want. I feel like it's important to do it that way rather than, rather than um, going the other way like this. Again, that just feels a little bit awkward. Um, so that's just my opinion, but uh, I think it's good to line up your down bows so that they line up with the, with the beats of the music. Um, and if you want to really uh, talk about the, um, about the mechanics of it, uh, this isn't super important, but if you watch my bow arm when I do that, when I, when I do this, uh, if you watch my elbow, my elbow just gradually and steadily unbends and the up bows come entirely from my wrist, watch. So I'm really not pushing the up bows with my elbow, it's just a motion of the wrist. Um, so it's really good to have your wrist be really super loose and relaxed. Um, and those up bows, you want them to just almost disappear. They're just really quiet little in-between notes, and the down bows are the important notes. That part, the, you, know, you know, the mechanics of your, of your bow arm, uh, don't worry too much about that if you're just a beginning fiddler, but um, that, that comes with time as you get used to it. I'd say the main thing is just uh, get, those, uh, get those down bows to come on the down beats so that you lilt towards the tip of your bow. So let's practice that on your, with that little template, and, um, and this is where it becomes really important, and I think it's always important, to tap your foot while you're playing. Um, so I'm wearing my stomping shoes, so hopefully 
the sound of my foot tapping will come through in the video. Um, and the foot tap is always, in this little template, the foot tap is always going to come on the open D. So that makes it really easy. Let's tap on that first note, and then every time you get to the open D, you'll tap your foot again. Three, four. That's, that's a good way to practice. Um, so you might want to do it uh, slower than that, um, and you might want to uh, just really sit with it at a slower tempo until you can really feel comfortable tapping your foot with it, um, and, then, uh, and then speed it up. And you do want to, you, you want to get to be able to do it kind of fast. Maybe like that. So you just really feel comfortable with it and just feel relaxed and you don't have to think really hard about it. You want it to just be something that happens naturally without too much thought. Um, and then when you go to put that into a tune, uh, let's say you wanted to play a tune with a lot of single bows, like maybe uh, Soldier's Joy, it might sound something like this. when I'm doing single bows, it's, I, I'm really letting it carry me closer and closer to the tip of the bow. And I really need those up bows. Um, you could see there, there's places where you're playing that tune where you, you, you're close to the tip and you need to get back into the center. So those up bows are really helpful. Um, and I think, you know, there's many reasons why you do bowing patterns in fiddle music, but I think that's one of, one of the important ones, is so that you don't fall off the tip of your bow, so you can get, get back into the middle of the bow, or maybe just stay in the center of, of your bow. So, I hope you find this a useful way to practice single bows, and in a new video, I'm going to start talking about some bowing patterns, um, using that same little template. So, good luck!